Hello table fans, today we're taking a look at a Kragnos, the end of Empires model. And I've got a 28 millimeter figure here for scale comparison. Yeah, this guy's huge. He's on like a six inch or in millimeters, that's about 155 millimeter base. It, uh, the kit comes with all these rocks and stuff. I added some things here. Let me just give him a little bit of a whirl here. <gasps> oh my God, isn't this guy awesome? Yeah. So I basically followed the box art. I made some very, very small changes that I thought made it look better. Uh, you've got, when you have a model, you have to have contrasts on it. Light, dark contrast warm cold contrast which you can definitely see here you get, there's different types of contrast too there's uh, glossy versus matte uh, that's not the case here this is all pretty much matte and you can also have uh, grungy versus clean which is something you definitely see on this model and you may think this is mostly like a teal color but it's got some purples in here and a lot of different browns and earth tones worked in there uh, not just weathering, but actually, like, worked into the shield. Oh, and what I was going to say is, I got some skulls from Games Workshop Skulls Kit of different types of demons and stuff like that, which I think really added to the base. Um, the the mane and the tail, and, base, and all his hair, effectively, have uh, eight different layers on them, and I just kept putting those layers on until it achieved this really rich sort of feel. And I went for a little bit more of an orange hair, like a redhead thing. And of course on the box art, it actually is more like a red color. So I went a little bit more natural. This guy, this model is really cool. He has loads and loads and loads and loads of details on him. Let's see if I can get him to come into focus. Well, anyway, I love how it turned out. I'm very pleased. It's a really cool figure. And I definitely would love to have one for myself, for my personal collection. Oh, so many figures, so little time. Well, thanks for tuning in, and I hope you got your inspiration for the world-ending day. Blah.